Pore foam is really easy to use. Here are some tips for best results. Number two density pore foam expands 25 to 30 times its original volume. Measuring the volume of the cavity that you would like to put the pore foam in will help you determine how much foam you should mix up at once. It will expand, so make sure that the container you're putting it in will hold the volume that you're mixing. Make sure to mix Aeromarine Products number two density pore foam at about 70 degrees Fahrenheit to get maximum expansion. If you mix it at a temperature lower than 70 degrees, you will get less expansion. If you mix it at a temperature higher than 70 degrees, you could get more expansion than you're expecting and end up with a giant mess. A few more things that you should know. Urethane pore foam is moisture sensitive, so when pouring into boat decks or any kind of cavity that could have moisture, make sure that it's dry. Also make sure that the stir sticks and, and mixing containers you're using aren't paper or wood. If you are going to use a wood stir stick, make sure it's sealed with something like epoxy beforehand. Another thing that you should know is that when working with urethane pore foam, you should always wear a respirator. Now I'm going to show you how to use the pore foam. Can I have my respirator? Thank you. Our manufacturers recommend that you always wear a respirator when working with this product. Today, I'm going to use a two gallon kit of number two density Aeromarine products pore foam. I happen to know that that expands to approximately eight cubic feet. I also happen to know that a 55 gallon drum holds about eight cubic feet of volume. I'm going to mix it up in this five gallon bucket with this sealed paint stick to mix it. The work life on this product is only 60 seconds. Make sure that you have everything you need ready to pour. Once you get both products measured, you want to mix them rapidly for about 30 seconds. You're going to know that they're mixed well once they turn a creamy color. Once both products are actually touching, it's really important to act with a sense of urgency. Mix firmly and methodically and get this foam poured as quickly as you can. At this point, you need to mix very quickly and methodically circles and figure eights, scrape the sides of the bucket. Once everything is a very creamy white color, there are no brown streaks in it, it's ready to go into your area. It looks like it's mixed pretty well, we're going to pour it into our drum. If you find out that you need more foam than what you originally mixed and poured, it's perfectly fine to measure and mix correctly another batch of pour foam and pour on top of the other foam. Now that the foam is fully cured, it's okay to take your respirator off. You saw me do two pours. The reason we had to do two pours is because our foam did not expand completely. We're in a warehouse where it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of the area that you will be pouring your foam into is really important. Pay attention to the temperature of your bottles, the cavity that you'll be pouring into, the humidity, and the temperature on that day. Our foam expands best at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. If it is less than that, you will get less expansion and your project will cost more. If the temperature is more than 70 degrees Fahrenheit, you run the risk of having it expand so quickly that you don't have time to get it into your cavity. Once your foam is completely cured, it's rigid. This closed-celled pore foam can be used for flotation, insulation, and soundproofing. You can find Aeromarine Products number 2 density foam on aeromarineproducts.com.